Welcome back to Passionate About Tech. In this video, I am going to show you how to install Linux Mint, the most beginner-friendly, fast, and secure operating system out there. It is completely free, it looks beautiful, and it breathes new life into old hardware. Let's dive in. Before we start the installation, we need a few things. First, you need a USB flash drive. I am using a 32 gigabyte drive today, but anything over four gigabytes will work. Second, please back up your important data. We are going to be wiping the drive to give Linux Mint a fresh home. So save your photos and documents to an external drive or the cloud right now. Let's get the software. Open your web browser and go to linuxmint.com. On the home page, look at the top menu and click the Download tab. From the drop-down menu, click on the latest recommended version, which is Linux Mint 22.2. You will see a few additions here. I highly recommend the Cinnamon Edition. It is the most modern, looks a lot like Windows 7 or 10, and is super easy to use. Click the Download button under Cinnamon Edition. Now, scroll down to the bottom where it lists the download mirrors. Look for the section titled World. I like to choose the main Linux Mint mirror right there at the top. Click it, and the download will start. It is about 3 gigabytes, so it might take a moment. While that downloads, let's get the tool to put it on our USB drive. We are going to use Rufus, which is the gold standard for this on Windows. Open a new tab and search for rufus.ie. Scroll down to the download section and grab the latest version for your system. Once you have both files, plug your USB drive into your computer. Open Rufus. Under Device, make sure your USB stick is selected. Next, click the Select button next to Boot Selection. Navigate to your Downloads folder and double-click that Linux Mint ISO file we just grabbed. For the partition scheme, usually MBR is the safest bet for compatibility with both old and new computers. Leave the target system as BIOS or UEFI. We don't need to mess with complex settings today, just hit start at the bottom. You might get a pop-up about downloading files or ISO hybrid mode, just click yes or OK. Finally, it will warn you that all data on the USB will be destroyed. Click OK to confirm. This will take a few minutes to write the files. Once the green bar says ready, you can close Rufus. Now comes the fun part, booting into Linux. Keep the USB plugged in and restart your computer. As soon as the screen goes black, you need to press your boot menu key repeatedly. This key is different for every computer. It might be F12, F10, escape, or delete. If you don't know it, Grab your phone and search Google for your PC model plus boot menu key. Once you find the key and hit it, a menu will pop up. Use your arrow keys to select your USB drive and hit enter. You will see a list. Choose Start Linux Mint and hit enter again. Welcome to the live environment. This is a demo version running entirely off your USB stick. You can play around, check if your sound works, and get a feel for it. If you are ready to commit, look for the disk icon on the desktop that says Install Linux Mint. Double-click it. The installer is super friendly. First, choose your language and click Continue. Then, select your keyboard layout. Next, and this is important, connect to your Wi-Fi if you aren't plugged in via Ethernet. Being online allows the installer to grab essential updates and drivers right now. On the Multimedia Codex screen, check the box that says Install Multimedia Codex. This ensures you can play videos and music files right out of the box. Click Continue. Now, the installation type. Pay attention here. Select Erase Disk and Install Linux Mint. This option formats your drive and dedicates the entire computer to Linux, which gives you the best performance and stability. Remember, this deletes your Windows files, so I hope you did that backup. Click Install Now. A confirmation box will appear showing the partition changes. Click Continue. Select your time zone on the map and click Continue. Finally, set up your profile. Enter your name, a name for your computer, a username, and a strong password. 
You can choose to log in automatically, but I recommend require my password to log in for better security. Click continue. Now the installer will copy files and set everything up. This usually takes about 15 to 20 minutes. You can watch the slideshow introducing you to Linux Mint features while you wait. When it is finished, a dialog box will appear saying, Installation complete. Click Restart Now. Your computer will shut down and ask you to remove the installation medium. Pull out your USB drive and press Enter. Your PC will reboot and you will see the login screen. Type in your password and welcome to your new desktop. A welcome screen will pop up. Close that for a second. Click on the Start menu in the bottom left corner. Scroll down the list and click on Update Manager. It will ask to refresh the list of updates. Click OK. It might say is that a new version of the Update Manager itself is available. Click Apply the Update. You will see an Authentication Required box. Type in your password and click Authenticate. A small window will show you the progress as it installs those initial packages. Once that is finished, the main Update Manager window will reveal a long list of available software updates. Click the Install Updates button at the top. It will ask for your password one more time to authorize the changes. Just type it in and hit Authenticate. And there you have it! You have successfully installed Linux Mint. You now have a fast, private, and secure computer that is entirely yours. You can browse the web, edit documents, and customize the look exactly how you want it. If you found this guide helpful, please smash that like button and subscribe to Passionate About Tech. I have got tons more Linux tips coming your way. Drop a comment below if you have any questions, and I will see you in the next video. Stay passionate!